Hello, you're very welcome back to our 33-day novena. And we're reading from the book by Father Michael Lee Gately on 33 days of morning glory. And today we're at day 31 and we reflect on the words of Mother Teresa, the words thirst, heart and covenant. Day 31, Saint Mother Teresa. Three words summarise what we learned from Saint Mother Teresa. Thirst, heart and covenant. Let's ponder each one of them in turn. Number one, thirst. Our Lady was the first person to hear Jesus when he said, I thirst with Saint John and I am sure Mary Magdalene was also present. Because Our Lady was there on Calvary, she knows how real, how deep is his longing for you and for the poor. Do we know? Do we feel as she does? Ask her to teach. Her role is to bring you face to face as John and Mary Magdalene with the love of the heart of Jesus crucified. Therefore, it was Our Lady pleading with her mother how it is, Mother, in her great name, pleading with you. Listen to Jesus. Listen to his thirst. Let us try in a special way to come as close as the human heart can come to the heart of Jesus and try to understand as much as possible Jesus' pain caused to him by our sins and his thirst for our love. Thank God Our Lady was there to understand fully the thirst of Jesus for love. She must have straight away said, I quench your thirst with my love and the suffering of my heart. So let us ask Our Lady to help us to understand. Number two, heart. A key word to Mother Teresa's understanding of consecration is heart, specifically the Immaculate Heart. Recall her two prayers to Mary. Lend me your heart and keep me in your most pure heart. Also, recall the importance of our imitating Mary's pondering heart. Let's start with two prayers and then review Mary's heart pondering attitude. Bend me to your heart. By this prayer, Mother Teresa was asking Our Lady to give her the love of her heart. In other words, she says, Mary, help me to love with the perfect love of your immaculate heart. Remember Mother Teresa's passionate desire was to quench the thirst of Jesus for love. And she wanted to do this in the best possible way. What better way to love Jesus than with the perfect, humble, immaculate heart of his mother? Here, Mother Teresa found the secret to living out her vocation to the full. Mary, lend me your immaculate heart. Keep me in your most pure heart. Or stated more fully, one prays, O immaculate heart of Mary, keep me in your most pure heart, so that I may please Jesus through you, in you, and with you. She's not just asking Mary's heart to be in her, but for her to be in Mary's heart. So this is a prayer to love Jesus through Mary, in Mary and with Mary. This is something more than simply having Mary lend us her heart. To understand this and live it requires a loving dependence and profound union with Mary. This is expressed more fully in the next section, Covenant. Pondering heart. Mother Teresa developed an attitude of gratitude by following the example of Mary, who always was pondering in her heart the good things that God was doing in her life. Specifically, Mother Teresa followed this example through her fidelity and examination of conscience. In other words, at the end of each day, 
she would ponder in her heart all the good things that God had done for her that day and would reflect on how she was, she was or was not fully responding to his love. Number three, covenant. As Mother Teresa writes, moved by an ardent desire to live in the closest union with Mary in this life, so as to more surely and fully arrive at union with your son, I hereby pledge to live the spirit in terms of following covenant of consecration, as faithfully and as generously as I am able. And so we pray. Spend the day pondering Teresa's Marian teaching as it is summarized by these three words, thirst, heart and covenant. Amen.